I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Yeah. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. Yeah. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. <laughs> Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends. And today we have another season of stupidity, let us say. You know, some people they are really obsessed with somebody is famous or somebody, you know, he have, uh, I don't know, like I keep hearing things, interviews. Everybody want to interview somebody and it's a season of interview. They would do an interview, uh, Robert Spencer, uh, Upstart Prophet, uh, uh, interview uh, Bart Harmon, uh, Mimi Hijab interview Bart Harmon, uh, 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 what's his name, uh, Jefferson, uh, Peterson, sorry, Jordan Peterson, I never heard of him before, uh, with uh, Mimi Hijab, it's, it's, it's a mess, it's a mess, really crazy, you know, but things is going really weird and stupid. Uh, you know, first, uh, the, uh, like in, uh, a discussion between people about religion, shouldn't be both are knowledgeable about the religion? This is the question you need to ask yourself. I mean, who is Mimi Hijab anyway? This guy, they ask him, do your God have hands? hands? He said, who said so? This guy even never say a word, inshallah, which is extremely important in the religion of Islam. This guy even wear jeans, have holes in it, fashion. This guy, he take off his clothes and he's a prophet. He says the one who show his belly bomb, he will go to hell. So uh, it's very weird. I mean, who is the ones who want to explain to you religion these days? The apostate prophet interview a woman, she converted to Islam and she said she converted to Islam because she saw Habib, how humble he is. But Habib is not a Muslim. Habib is showing his belly bar. He's going naked. According to Islam, if you show your knee and up, this is nakedness. If you show your belly bar and down, this is nakedness. So all of them, they are a bunch of idiots, you know, those who try to present Islam for us. Don't learn Islam from those idiots. Learn Islam from Islam. So always when you come here, we show you reference, we show you proofs, we show you a real education, not the speeches. But today we are going, you know, just for fun. You know, I'm just, I'm being bored. So I said to myself, let us see what happened. I mean, it's, it's really funny. It sounds really funny. Here we have uh, 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 Mimi Hijab. He decided to, I did not play the whole video, by the way, but, uh, you know, uh, I saw a video, it's called React of uh, uh, Peterson for the Quran. So Mimi Hijab, he decided to recite the Quran for uh, Dr. Jordan Peter Peterson. I don't know what he's doctor in what, but anyway. He's, uh, by the way, invite him to join us so he can learn about Islam because I notice he's very soft. And that's why the Muslims are talking to him. So Mimi Hijab here, he decided like, to destroy the mountain. And I will tell you why uh, I'm saying the mountain word. But later. So he said to himself, I'm going to recite the Quran for him and let us see what happened. Revelation. And I can recite for you maybe 10, 20 second verses and translate for you and show you what, I think it will give you more of a flavor of what you believe. Hmm. 
Sure. Do, okay. do what you will. Sure, sure. So okay. the Quran states in the end of chapter 59. Uh -huh. Just to stop. Just to show you how stupid the verse he quote for us. Have you ever heard of God saying Allah is he who? Let us go to the stupid Quran and what he chose for us. This is the dummy verses he is reading for us. I never heard of us. I mean, from all the stupid Quran, you could not find better verse than this. You did not even start saying two, 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 like a second. He is Allah. Who is talking Allah? I mean, have you ever heard of a dummy, stupid religion like this? How the one is talking is Allah, and then he says he is Allah. Then whom there is no ilah, but he, but what the heck is that? And then he is the one who knows the unseen and he knows the shahada? By the way, in translation here is gone. Where is the shahada? The word shahada is gone. Look, in Arabic it says shahada. They took it off in English. Hey, how Allah he knew the shahada? What does that mean? Change the translator. Let us see the front donkey. Allahu ladhi ilahu yahu ha 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 he is Allah then whom is there is no other Allah he knows the invisible and the visible Look, what the heck he knows the invisible and the invisible Look, where is the shahada shahada is the visible I never heard of Shahada as a visible. <laughs> Let us go back to Mimi. Hey Mimi. By the way, your voice is so good, man. The Quran sounds so good. Especially soon we will see how good it was. Unbelievable. Okay, Mimi, tell us more. Wallahu alladhi la ilaha illa hu al maliku al quddus al salam al mu'min al muhaymin al aziz al jabbar al mutakabbir Hold on Allahu al mutakabbir al jabbar al mutakabbir I will I will take you to Google translation translation and we will copy the word in the front of your eyes from the Quran. So you don't say, I'm not copying the word. Allah is what? Al Jabbarul Mutakabbir. Let us go to the verse. And everybody will die laughing at such a stupid God. Here we go. We go to Prophet Gogol, peace be upon him. Paste. Translation. Allah the arrogant? <laughs> you know when you read the Muslim translation you don't see the word arrogant this is what Al-Mutakabbir mean Allah is an arrogant what the heck <laughs> So you are trying to present your God to this uh, Western guy and you tell him, I have a God who is arrogant. Aha! Uh -huh. Amazing. That's so good, brother. That's You choose the perfect verse for that. You have the arrogant Allah. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Aman, Rabbi, Aman. Allah mutakabbir means aman. What a stupid religion. I sing for us more. Uh, we did not hear it well. I think you have more to say, right? Oh, okay. Subhanallah. Allah, he says, Subhanallah. I mean, look, what the heck with this religion? 
Allah is saying Subhanallah. Allah saying glorify be Allah. I mean, anyone who have a little brain, he will say something wrong with those words. Obviously, this is not Allah talking. It's somebody making a book, speaking about his God. Allah, he says, glorified be Allah. What the heck is that? Hey, tell us more. Mimi uh, hijab. Oh, this is the other one. Hold on. Yeah. Continue, continue. And yeah, close your eyes. I mean, the spirituality is coming. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what happened here? What happened here? Hold on. Did you swallow something? Uh, did you notice, guys, what he said? Uh, 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 what happened? Salam al mu'min al muhaymin al aziz al jabbar al mutakabbir. Subhanallah. Look, what the heck? I mean, again, I can again. recite for you. Sorry. Salamu al mu'minu al jabbar al mutakabbir. Subhanallah. So let me read the translation from. <laughs> no, hold on. You know, I mean, this is the most funny, stupid thing is ever. So uh, Mimi Hijab, he did not like what he did in the video. So he decided to fix it. This is his recitation now, after editing. <laughs> hey, Mimi Hijab, why are you are adding echo? I mean, what's that? <laughs> What a crock you are! Echo. So the the uh, what 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 you what you were saying? What is, this is this is the same video? Is it exactly the same interview? It is the same interview. What happened? <laughs> See, Quran with echo is different from Quran without echo. Can Allah make echo like your echo? Obviously, He don't have a software to do it. Can Allah make Quran like yours now with echo? Stupidity is amazing. And then, after he finished reciting the Quran, uh, Peterson he threw a bomb at the stupid Mimi Hijab. From uh, I don't want to get this wrong, right? These two verses I think are probably the two best verses that answer your question in the Quran. Allah is He. I'm going to get something maybe. A bit better. Uh, <laughs> translation. All right. He, he is looking. He is looking for a translate. The first translation he did not like. <laughs> Let me look for something better. <laughs> he opened the translation. Oh, this translation is horrible. No, we cannot show him this one. We are trying to sell out Islam. I mean, this is translation. No, let us look for a better one. Uh, uh, Mimi, why do you need translation? Don't you speak Arabic? He is Allah, uh -huh. that there is no God worthy of worship except for him. Uh, uh, who is saying that? Allah is saying he is Allah. Allah is saying he is Allah. Looking at who? Allah. Looking at who? Well, Allah looking at Allah. <laughs> the king, the holy, the one free from all defects, the giver of security, the watch mm. over his creatures, uh -huh. the mighty, the compeller, the supreme. The glory be to him. The glory, glory be to God. High is he above all that they associate. Glory to be to God. Allah saying glory to be God. Allah saying glory to be God. To Allah saying glory to be to God. That is Allah talking. He has partners with him. He is Allah. Allah saying he is Allah. I mean, come on. It is genius author talking. So a Christian prince, he wrote a book about himself. He says, Christian prince, he says, he is a Christian prince. Who's talking? Christian Prince. What he's saying, uh, he is a Christian Prince. He is who? Christian Prince. You are a Christian Prince. 
Well, I am a Christian prince, but he is Christian prince. Okay, Christian prince. If you are a Christian prince, who is he, the one who is a Christian prince? You don't understand. I'm telling you that he is a Christian prince. Okay, we got it. He who? Christian prince. But you are a Christian prince. That's so deep, man. That's so, you chose the perfect verses for the guy. The creator, the inventor of all things. The exactly. He is the, he is the one who invented the echo software. I mean, who invented that software you are using? Look like you don't like the Quran with, by Allah words alone. So you decide to add echo because Quran without echo is zero. Beko. The stower of forms. To him belong the best names. All that is in the heavens and the earth glorify him. And mm -hmm. he is the almighty, the all wise. Allah saying he is the almighty, all wise. Allah saying he is the almighty. Okay. So these are. And now look what what the Peterson will say. I did not watch the whole video because obviously it must be it must be stupid. But it was his luck. Luck, you know. I move it uh, because he was saying the reaction of uh, Peter uh, Peterson to the Quran. So I decided to see the reaction of the guy. I would say the two potentially the two best verses that summarize for us. Yeah, so right. So it's an attempt to use yeah. a multiplicity of virtues to decide to define a, a supreme source of good. Uh -huh. So, yes. okay, I have a, a technical question for you, a procedural question, I guess. Um, when we're talking, so you sang those verses, and then, so here's what happened. I asked you that question. You sang those verses, or chanted them, it's, or, or a combination them. of those yeah. two. Okay, but there's a, there's a melodic element to that, mm -hmm. and I don't understand the language, mm -hmm. and then you <laughs> translated them. And so, why approach the answer to, to my question in that manner? Do you see the stupidity? Guys, do you see the stupidity? I asked you a question. Why you are singing for me the Quran? Why you are singing for me the Quran? Is that a legitimate question? We are having a meeting, and now you want to quote for me your book, and what do you do? You start singing for me your book. How are they knowable? Is that only through relationship with the... Hold on, we look like we we uh, uh, we went forward more than we should be. All right. Here, maybe. After me. And so th there's no reasonable reason for us to think at all ended. Well, I think you. Christ actually said that, that believers Mm. would be able to i think i uh i'm going faster here where is the come on 24 where he was singing the quran wasn't 24 Profit that's going to come, and in fact, I know. What, 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 at what minute, guys? At what? What was? Uh, what minute it was? He was singing the Quran. <clears throat> Maybe an hour and twenty-four. I mean, this is my by mistake. I moved them. Uh, the, this uh, this uh, uh, meeting is very long. So let us see where he was closing his eyes. Anyone knows which minute? How this happened? By mistake, I click at the mouse and I moved uh, the timeline. <clears throat> I think here he was singing. Go the blind. You no. Muhammad, he did what? Muhammad, he, he healed the blind? <laughs> uh, guys, don't ask me questions for now. I mean, we are making a comment about the topic, right? When we finish, I ask who will have a question. I'm not reading your, your question about comment. Speak about this, speak about that. What's wrong with you? We have a topic. What's wrong with people? We have a topic, we have a topic. Are you blind? When we are done, we say who have a question. I will read your, your comment and we will go there. Okay, somebody saying 31 and the mayor 31. And yeah. it's embodied virtue that is in some sense reflective. Of I didn't see that in 31. Let's see. Here. This is 30.
revelation. And I can recite for you maybe 10. Yeah, okay, here, here 31. So the minute 31, he start re re singing the stupid Quran. Here, I think he finished. Um, okay. Uh, uh, so let me read the translation from from because uh, I don't want to get this wrong, right? These two verses I think are probably the two best verses. That answer your question in the Quran. Okay. Uh -huh. Allah is He. I'm going to get something maybe a bit better. Uh, translation. All right. Masan Khan. He is Allah. Khan. That there is no God worthy of worship. Guys, notice he chose Muhsin Khan. He chose Muhsin Khan. So in the future, Mimi Hijab, if he ever dare to speak to me, he have to accept Muhsin Khan. We just heard him saying, Muhsin Khan, who is this Muhsin Khan? Hold that, let me go to Muhsin Khan. Hey Muhsin, where are you? Muhsin Khan. Muhsin Khan, Muhsin Khan, Aman Rabbi Aman. Where is Muhsin Khan? I don't see him here. Anyone knows who is Muhsin Khan? I see Shakir, I see I didn't see Mohsin Khan, I see Muhammad Assad. We will look for this Mohsin Khan later, no problem. Okay, I, I continue, continue, Mimi. All right. Mohsin Khan. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. I should Translate. accept for him the king, the holy, the one free from all defects, the mm -hmm. giver of security, the watcher over his creatures, the mighty, the compeller, the supreme. Glory be to him. Glory, glory be to God. High is he above all that they associate as partners with him. He is Allah, the creator, the inventor of all things, the bestower of forms. To him belong the best names. All that is in the heavens and the earth glorify him, and he is the almighty, the all wise. So these are, I would say, the two, potentially the two best verses that summarize for us. Yeah, so Right, so it's an attempt to use yeah. a multiplicity of virtues to decide to define a, a supreme source of good so yes. okay i have a, a technical question for you a procedural question i guess um when we're talking so you sang those verses and then so here's what happened i asked you that question you sang those verses or chanted them it's or, or a combination of those yeah. two okay but there's a there's a melodic element to that mm -hmm. and i don't understand the language mm -hmm. and then you translated them. And so why approach the answer to, to my question in that manner? Because we believe that the Quran in its original language has an element in it or has a, has a virtue, if you like, to it or an attribute to it, which cannot be felt or experienced phenomenologically, if you like, mm -hmm. through um, tr just mere translation. We believe so that... Yeah. And so what what purpose does that serve in a discussion with someone like me? Abdul, what purpose that such a discussion can do serve with me? Actually, he chose a chapter which is proven to us Islam to be false. Do you know why? Let us go. Uh, Sam Shamun is saying this is a translation for uh, Hilali. Hilali and Khan. You say it right? This is Mohsen. Hilali and Khan. Okay, let us go to Hilali and Khan. So we will choose Hilali and Khan, so we will have the same translation. And now Mimi, our sister Mimi, she cannot say, I did not choose this translation, I don't accept it. As you heard him saying, uh, translation of Muhsin. All right, so uh, he asked him what purpose that will, will serve when you recite the Quran for me. The coward Mimi Hijab, he refused to treat for him a verses before where he started because that verse will expose the Quran why he said this is a Quran we send if we send it in a mountain this mountain will collapse he will humble himself he will collapse he will he will surrender to Allah this guy convert to Islam right away it didn't work he chose a Quran and by the way, this is just the verse before he started. Look, why he did not start from here? Why he start from here? He start from this one. He is Allah, 
Okay, the verse before it says, had we sent down this Quran on mountain, he would surely have seen it humble himself and send in cylinder. Oh, the guy did not surrender. So the experiment failed. He was hoping that we will say those verses because the Quran says, this is a Quran. If you say it to somebody, he will go, you know, look what happened to Christian Prince. I'm surrendering. <laughs> Unbelievable how much surrender we have. Look, we have we have hundreds of people listening right now and all of them they surrender after they heard your voice. And because it doesn't work with the surrender, so what do you decide to do? You decide to do echo movie. Echo. You are okay. You are echo on us now. So you think that will work now? You should. I think you know what you should install echo software before you talk to Jeffers to Mr. Peterson next time. <laughs> I can do that in the bathroom, by the way, without a software. If the Quran is a book of God, and the Quran saying in the same chapter you are quoting, just a verse before, if they hear this Quran, a mountain will surrender to Islam. And then the guy did not surrender to Islam. So what do you do? You go home, you look for a software, and I bet you the software is installing. I bet you the software is stolen. I challenge this guy to show us the software he is using for the echo. And I challenge him to prove that it's not stolen. And now we will add the echo so may the Quran will be respected. Especially nobody understand what the Quran is saying. The Quran is so stupid. <laughs> Stupid, he is amazing. Now, as long as potato, he chose this chapter. This chapter is hilarious. First of all, obviously, the Quran is the biggest failure. Here we go, people, they heard you reciting the Quran. We play it all to the end. And nobody surrendered to Islam, and you are a fool like your prophet. And we are laughing at your Quran. Not only we did not surrender, we are laughing at the stupidity of a God. He says, it is he who Allah. He is Allah. Who is saying that? Allah. Then, if we go up in the Quran, the same chapter, you will see that the shaitan is a Muslim. Their alias deceived them. Like shaitan, shaitan, he said to the man, disbelieve in Allah. But when the man disbelieve in Allah, shaitan says, I am free from you. I fear Allah, the Lord of Alameen. Like the, what the heck? Shaitan is saying shahada and he is a Muslim? Shaitan, he fear Allah and he worship Allah. So why you call him Shaitan? Uh, I forgot your prophet, he said uh, that Shaitan, he command him and he is a Muslim. And do me a favor, all of you, after we finish here, go and invite this gentleman, Peterson. Obviously, he do not know much about Islam. With my respect to him, I do not know him. But obviously, he has zero knowledge of this religion. This is the most stupid garbage religion ever. And the Muslims, they depend in your ignorance. You know? The Muslims, their, 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 let us say, uh, their victory can come only when you are an, an ignorant about this cult. About this cult. Look at Muhammad. Muhammad, he said, every human being, he have a genie as a companion. The companion, they said to him, would you too? Thereupon, he said, yes, yes. But Allah helped me against him, and I am safe from his hand. And he does not command me, but for good. So Muhammad, he admit that he received satanic verses and command from shaitan every day, claiming that shaitan giving a good command. Right? Now, as long as the Muslim they love echo, 
I am going to speak to you from Echo and, and from now on by Echo. Brother and sister, 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 today we are going to talk, talk, talk about a topic, 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 topic. So you will love it, love it, love it. The prophet, he was receiving command, command, man, from the prophet, from the, from the, from the shaitan, 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 shaitan. Because he's shaitan, he became a Muslim, Muslim, Muslim. But he is a good shaitan, good shaitan, good shaitan. There's no good angel in Islam. There's a good shaitan, shaitan, shaitan. And he commanded me to do good, brother. Are you crying? Are you crying with me? Are you converting to Islam? Are you submitting to Allah right now? Please, if you are submitting to Allah, 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 don't forget to make echo, go to the bathroom and say shahada so because we can have echo and we can record it record it record it if you don't have an echo in the bathroom we can make a software for you it's stolen from the internet this is religion shaitan he command me to do good and here you ask yourself what kind of a prophet he received command from the devil claiming that the devil is a good devil I thought Muhammad he received command from his God. And as you see, this is authentic hadith. The Muhammad and they cannot say this is not true. Going back to the same chapter, this idiot he chose. Perfect chapter. Mimi Hijab, he just made a video actually. I just saw it because I'm searching for a topic. He made a video saying that this is a good conversation. We are building bridges. He is building what? He is building bridges. Are you allowed in Islam to build the bridges? Mimi? Jordan Peace's channel on social media streams. It shows that Orthodox Christians, Muslims are all for building bridges. And this Christian and Muslims, they are all for building bridges. But this is against Islam. The same chapter saying that the one who do that is the Munafiqeen. Who is the Munafiqeen? The Muslim hypocrite, which means they will go to hell. Alam tara ladina. I sing it for you with echo. Alam tara Have you, Muhammad, so? not observe the hypocrite who say to their friends among the people of the scriptures who believe, who disbelieve? By Allah, if you are expelled, we too indeed go out with you. <laughs> Building bridges. According to Islam, the one who built the bridges with the Christians is the Munafiqeen. The fake Muslims. Someone told me, I did not watch the whole video, that Mimi Hijab, he claimed that the Prophet was attacking caravan after they kicked him out from Mecca. Okay, but why you are attacking caravan of people who never attack you? <laughs> the same chapter is speaking about Allah Prophet taking the booty of people who did not really have a war with Muhammad. He did not even take it by war. Those people, they fear Muhammad and they run away for their life. And Muhammad, he took all the booty. He invaded their houses. He stole the TVs, the iPhone, the Echo software for the Quran, you know. He stole everything. And then he took what is enough for him and the rest he gave it to the Muslims. The same chapter. Allah, he ordered the prophet to do excel the enemy of Muhammad. And this coward was saying that prophet is not a warlord. Jordan Peterson before he said, well, you like it or not, Jesus, he never led an army, he never killed anyone, and Muhammad is a lord of war. He's a figure of peace. I don't think that that's disputable. I mean, he certainly, he wasn't a warlord. That's, that's one thing that's for certain. He never led armies, you know, whereas that's not the case with Muhammad at all. Muhammad was clearly and indisputably a warlord. Exactly, and he was a scumbag. 
He ordered his followers to attack the Romans so they can get the blonde girls. He said, Are we making things up? The Roman they never fought him. He sent them a letter saying, Convert or I will kill you all. Convert or I will kill you all. When the Muslim they were fearing invading the room, the Roman, because they didn't know the situation of the Roman, the Roman they were weak at that time because they just finished a war, long war, 300 war, years war with the Persian. So the filthy Muhammad, in order to convince them to go and attack the Roman, he said to them, attack the Roman so you can get the blondy girls. What kind of a prophet this prophet is? And if you don't believe me, I can show you the reference right now. Actually, there's tons of reference about that. Many Islamic interpretation call those reference and they consider them to be true. And I can put for you in the screen as many as you wish. Let us go to the Tafsir. Al Thalabi, Al Suyuti, etc. Let us see, hold on. Let me find it first in the in the Islamic website of the government of Saudi Arabia. So Muslim will not say this is a fake website as usual. You know them. You know them, right? Where is the Muslim government website? Look, the, re uh, the react of the dogs when they, uh, they heard the uh, uh, Mimi Hijab reciting the Quran, they surrender to Allah. I don't know if you can hear them in the background. Uh, let us see. I have tons of websites in front of me, but I want an Islamic official website. Okay, well, this one is an Islamic website, but I don't know if it's an official. Let us see at tafsir.com. This is okay. This is this is uh, this is uh, official. All right. This is the government of uh, Go uh, of Jordan, and this is a website owned by the king himself. And this is why the king is corrupt because supposed he descended from Muhammad and his family are the most corrupt people ever. You can imagine. This is Tafsir Jami al Bayani fi Tafsir al Quran al Imam al Tabari, written 310 according to the immigration of the terrorist. And here you will see it says in red, قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم أغزو تغنم بنات الأصفر. Attack the Roman, you get the daughters of the yellow. Down there he said, attack the Roman so we take of them sex slaves from the best of their beauty ones. And here we go. We use Google translation to translate. Let us do that. Invade Tabuk to get the daughter of Bani al-Asfar. Asfar mean yellow. The women of the room. Do you see it? This is the filthy noble prophet of God. Ughzu, so you can get the yellow girls. Meaning the women of the Roman. So, Mr. Patterson, he was right when he said Muhammad is a filthy warlord. This guy is a rapist. This guy is using those fool Arab, or let us say the outlaw of the Arab, to attack the neighbors for one reason, to get their blonde girls. They are obsessed with white women. One of the men, he was there, his, they call him the grandfather, obviously maybe he's old. He says, permit us, uh, prophet, 
uh, you know, don't don't uh, test us, don't tempt us with women. A man with decency, he was one of the followers of Muhammad. He said to Muhammad, don't tempt us with women, man. Muhammad, he claimed that this person is a false Muslim. This is Islam. Attack the Roman and get the blonde girls. So you want to sing to the guy to show him the impact of the Quran and the Quran says, and this is the reference, I just gave you the link. And the Quran says, if you recite those verses in somebody, he will collapse like a, 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 a even if it's a mountain. A mountain. The same chapter he was actually saying to Mr. Peterson, it is Islam who will take you out of your home. It is he who drove out the disbelievers among the people of the scriptures. Do you see it? He drove them out of their houses, the faith in Muhammad. What about Bani al-Mustaliq? They were attacking Muhammad? They were people of Mecca? No. Why Muhammad he attacked them? Because they have a beautiful girls too. They have a lot of cattle and they have very pretty girls. When Muhammad he attacked them, those people they have no idea that even such a thing will happen. Read carefully, and this is the filthy Bukhari. The Prophet had suddenly attacked Bani al-Mustaliq without warning. He did not even tell them why. While they were headless, and their cattle were being watered at the place of water. Their fighting men, which means the poor men who tried to defend, killed. Their women and their children, they've been taken as a sex slaves. And Muhammad, he raped the women. She is the daughter of the, 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 the most beautiful women in the tribe. He raped her before even he read the, read, leave the camp. This is Muhammad, the one they tried to present to you that he is a good person. But you need to notice here that you people, you love to see videos of people showing their face. People who show you reference and teach you real education, you don't even watch their videos. We make a video hardly, we get to 20,000 after 24, 24 hours. If a whore, she make a video about her lipstick, millions of people will see it. Because this is the word of the whore. Here we say the truth and only the truth. People don't want to see the truth. People want to see naked pictures. People, they want to see naked women. People, they want to see people making a show, showing their faces and making some scene. They don't want to see a reference. They want to see two fool people making philosophy. Is religion is a philosophy? Since when? Is it? I'm truly sick of lies in this earth. People worship famous ones. As if it's somebody he is not famous and he got deceived is not important. If somebody became a Christian, like what his name, this guy, what his name, a singer, he became a Christian. If we talk about it as if it's a big deal, I mean, who is this guy? What a hypocrite word. Idol worshippers, the same as the Muslims. They worship a man, his name is Muhammad. They worship his testicles. They worship his sperm. They worship his spit. They were fighting over the poopoo -poo of the camel of Aisha. And many of the world today, they are fighting over poopoo -poo of famous ones. They worship their poopoos. 
a famous one, he said something. As a famous man, is he is God now. Bill Gates, he became a prophet. That's it, he prophesied. Bill Gates, he prophesied. As long as you are rich, you can be a prophet. I mean, this world is really sick. And I am sick of it. People don't deserve somebody to say the truth for them. People want hookers. People want nakedness. People want fool. People want jokers. People want comedy. People don't want somebody to make them cry. We spend our life studying to teach you, and then we find that only a few thousand watch the videos. And then a person, he do not even know how to say two words in the language we speak. In the book we are reading, he got thousands and thousands of views. Why? Because Satan is in charge. Yesterday I said I love the Filipino peoples. One, one idiot, he starts saying bad things about the Filipinos. He said the Christian prince, he likes Filipinos because they are white. Since when Filipinos are white, you stupid idiot son of Muta? Filipinos are white? And why a white man will love white people? So really, everything around you make you sick. This Mimi Hijab himself, nobody will listen to him. But thanks to someone like David Wood, he made him famous. David Wood, he have a specialty to make the fool famous. Any fool would like to be famous, he contact David Wood. David Wood invite him to his channel, and then he became a, a, a big famous fool. This is reality. And then we have to deal with all those fools. But doesn't matter. Still, those fools will stay a fool, became famous or not. But the question is, why are you people are too much concentrating in the fool? Why it's really the matter for you what Mr. With my respect to this guy, I do not know him. This Dr. Patterson, what he say? Why it's so important? Who you listen to? Who is your guidance? What if this guy became an atheist tomorrow? What if he became a Christian? What if he became a Hindu? Is that have, going to have an impact on you? People are really weird and foolishness is in charge. Foolishness is literally in charge. Intelligence is not exist no more. We know we need somebody to think for us. We need somebody famous to tell us what is right, what's wrong. Nobody want to see what God said. People want to see what Mr. Patterson said or Mr. Mrs. Mimi. Mr. Titboy, who want to do breast suckling for Muslim women. So my friends, when somebody want to teach you about a religion, don't take a teaching of religion from anyone, including me. If I don't show you reference, proofs, you see, I'm just helping you here to make your mind by showing your reference, not by making speeches. Like I saw even the comment before I start going live on air, a person saying, you can't speak to the Father without Jesus. Jesus is the bridge. My friend, what bridge? Isn't it Jesus says, I, he said, I am the door. How you made him a bridge? So if a Muslim listening to this, he will say, huh, Jesus is just a bridge. Uh -huh. I mean, people, they say things without thinking. People are shallow. People, they don't want to think for a second. It hurt. Is it Jesus says, I am the truth? Who is the truth? The truth is God. Is it the Bible says, in the beginning it was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word is our God.
G. Peterson point the danger of I'm not saying he is not a thinker I don't know the guy so what if he point the danger but you don't learn about God from a person who do not know much about God you don't know about God even from me you know about God from God so why Jesus came so you can listen to Christian Prince or you can listen to him When it's come to Islam, I'm here to teach you because Islam is hiding behind the Arabic language. Because Islam is based on lying. You don't debate a Muslim. Muslims are not debating you when they debate Islam. Muslims are playing games. There's no debate. It's allowed in Islam to lie. It's not right for a Muslim to, to be truthful with you. This is why I'm here. Otherwise, there's no need for me. If we can't find a Muslim, he say, okay, this is what Islam is. Then I will not be here. But because we have to fight a liar, lying machines. A Muslim is allowed only to speak to you in a friendly way. Only if he is lying. And this is chapter 3, verse 28. All of you, you heard of a taqiyya before. You cannot speak to the Jews and the Christians and the Hindus and the Buddhists by being honest. They speak to you only in honest when they are strong. When they are the people of might, sword. But when they are weak as they are today, they are kissing the shoes of the Jews. They are kissing the shoes of the American. They are kissing the shoes of the Persian. They are kissing the, for them, the Persian are not Muslims. Still, they are kissing their shoes. The, the Russian, you name it. The Chinese. Every single Islamic country signing big deal with the Chinese. But Mimi Hijab, he took off his t-shirt when he was war in tits. Hypocrite. Look what Islam says. A Muslim who take non-believers, the Jews, the Christians, as a friends, seeking might and honor by taking the hypocrites and disbelievers, and supposedly we are the hypocrites and we are disbelievers. As a friends, he have no connection with Allah. He has no honor. He has no mercy. He has no protection, which means Muslims can kill him from Allah, unless it be you guard yourself against them, save yourself from them, Talking as if to wear security, saving yourself from them by speaking in a friendly way toward them while your heart is like this. Do we need more to prove to you that this religion is a satanic religion? And the funny, the same verse is speaking about hypocrites. The same verse is calling the Christian, the Jews, hypocrites. If so, if so if we are the hip hypocrites, so who, what is hypocrisy then? Speaking to me in a friendly way, but your heart is like that. Do you see it? And this is why I'm really disgusted because I struggle with the Christians, I struggle with the uh, atheists, we struggle with the Muslims, but the most struggling we see is the Christians. I mean, those people, they don't want to listen. They want to listen to famous people. If somebody have 10 people subscribed to his YouTube, just 10, and he is a genius, none of you will listen to him. This is the truth. But if a person, he have 600,000, 10,000, 10, a million, uh, 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 everybody will listen to him because he is famous. This is the truth. If Jesus himself now open a YouTube channel, none of you will go be there except 12 people. Twelve people. There's twelve people subscribed to Jesus YouTube. Not twelve millions. Not twelve hundreds. People don't want to listen to Jesus. They want to listen to the perverted religion. Isn't it obvious that Islam is a stupid religion? Do we even need to debate about the peace of the Prophet? 
David Wood, he debate a Muslim guy, the peace of Islam. I mean, is it the Bible says from their fruit you shall know them? Do we need to debate the peace of Islam? I mean, the guy, he conquered half of the earth. He raped millions of women. He enslaved all the African from Africa, sold them to the white men. All the African who enslaved and sold to the white men enslaved by Muslims. All of them with no exception. And then we need to debate about if Islam is peace or not. Is it the Quran says, oh, you Muslims, if you fear to be poor, don't worry, Allah will enrich you, go attack the Christians and the Jews. Is that the Quran? Chapter 9, verse 28. Don't allow non-Muslim to enter Mecca. And if you fear poverty, don't worry, Allah will enrich you. Okay, how Allah will enrich you? The verse after, go and kill the Christian and the Jews and take their money. And we need to debate if Islam is religion of peace or not. I mean, how far this stupidity is. My friend, I'm not speaking against Mr. Peterson. I don't know him. But I'm saying... Uh, you, you know, people, they are attached to famous names. As simple as that. If he is not famous, you will not listen to him. Why? And why Mr. Peterson is the one who bring you back to Christ? So Christ did not bring you to Christ, but Peterson bring you to Christ. What's wrong with you? So Jesus who made the blind see, he did not bring, he, bring you to him. Jesus who brought dead people from the ground, he did not bring, him, bring you to, to him. Jesus who is a living God, he did not bring you to him. But then a guy in YouTube, he bring you to him. If this is what happened to you, something wrong with you. You do not need me to know Jesus. It is a shame that you take your religion and you take your knowledge from a person even he is not strong in his belief maybe. We take it only for one person. One person. That is the Messiah, our Lord. Not from a priest. Not from a bishop not from a pope, not from a church. We take it from the Messiah. The Messiah himself, he come to this earth. The stupid meme hijab, he said, well, I cannot believe that somebody believe that there's a God who was born and there's a God who died. But the stupid meme hijab, he did not know or he for sure ignore that Jesus said before Abraham I am, which means his birth had nothing to do with his existence. Do you think really that this coward, he do not know those verses in the Bible? That Jesus says before Abraham I am, and Abraham he saw my day, and he rejoiced for it. And the Jews, they said to him, you are not even 50 years old. How Abraham he saw your day? Don't me hijab, he knew that the one who called him dead God, according to his stupid religion, he is not dead. So if he is opposing the idea of that God, well, Jesus never died in your stupid cult, you idiot. But in the other side, you see Mr. Peterson, he have no answer. He don't know what to say, because obviously he doesn't know much about Islam. This is why those people, they only willing to argue with people who do not know much. They are not solid in the religion, and they are not strong in the knowledge about the garbage of Muhammad. Do this guy, Mimi Hijab, dare to speak to me? He will be crushed in two minutes. This is why when the coward, I called him, he started playing videos for me and hang up on me. Because he's just a kid. And I made this video, by the way, because many people, they keep saying to me, would you respond to this guy? Would you respond? What's wrong with people? Do even we need to respond? But I found that, okay, that is love. It's a comedy time. But reality is, 
Christians, they need to wake up. Don't make your faith depend in a person. People, they can betray Jesus anytime. Even Peter, he denied Jesus. Are you better than Peter? So your faith should not depend in any human being. If your faith is attached to a person, well, whatever that person will go, you follow. That's mean you have no faith. That's mean you don't have any dignity. You are just a blind follower, not of God, but famous people. So my friends, I say to the Christians, this is the most stupid garbage religion. Let, just to show you an example of the stupidity of this religion. I will give you just an example. Let me find a, a fast video just for, for a comedy. Uh, <clears throat> let us see if we can find something fast just for comedy oh, Lord have mercy and I know many of you will be upset from the way I'm talking I don't care get upset I will be always as I am Um. Okay, we found something. You want to see what Islam is? Take a look. Can we keep hamsters as pets? People went to the moon. People went to the space. People they're speaking through the internet. People they are blah 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 blah. And the Muslims they are now worried about Mr. Hamster. Is that a religion you want to follow? People dying by millions, they have no jobs, they have no work, people sleeping in the bridge, people they have no houses, no shelters, people they are dying from diseases, and the Muslims are spending billions of dollars to discuss. Can we have a hamster? Like, can we? As pets? Can we keep hamsters as pets? The Prophet ﷺ instructed us to kill five types of animals, whether we find them in the hill area, which is out of the haram, or inside the haram. And he also ordered us in different hadith to kill mice, because a mouse is a type of an animal that is evil by nature. A mouse is a, a type of an animal is evil by nature. Shaitan, he command Muhammad to do good and he is not evil. A mice is an evil by nature. Okay, tell us why the mice is evil by nature. Tell us more. And it carries a lot of diseases and the plague. All animals, they carry diseases. A human being, they carry diseases too. Your mouth is more dirty than in the most filthy toilet seat ever. Go check it out. You never heard of the cow madness disease? The virus of the birds, the chickens? Only the mice have viruses? Okay. Is one of them. 
among others. And it's known to be destructive Oof. and with evil intent. Even it may take a piece of thread and get it uh, 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 burnt from or set it on fire from a candle or fire in the house and take that thread and burn the whole house with it. Can you believe the stupidity of this religion? And by the way, he is quoting a hadith of his prophet. Their stupid prophet says that the mice will take in purpose, will take a thread of fire when you are asleep, and he will go around the house and he will start lighting your curtains, like your cushions, like your dress. This is, this is, this is Islam. And you Muslim, you, and you people, you want to learn about Islam from two people who have no idea what they are talking about? A mice, when you are asleep, will go and take a thread from, if you have a fireplace, will take a thread from the fireplace. Maybe the mice will light a cigarette. <laughs> Even people make me angry, you know. But there is some comedies always there. The mice is lighting up Anyone witness a mice doing that? Any of you witness? If you have a video of a mice doing that, I mean, all of us today, we have security cameras. I'm sure many of you Christians, you saw a mice burning the house when you are asleep by your security camera. Why you don't post it in YouTube? I will tell you why. Because if you do that, you will prove that the Prophet Muhammad is telling the truth. All of us, we knew that mice are the number one reason to make fire in homes. And they are evil by nature. If you don't believe me, go watch Tom and Jerry. What do you want more evidence than this? This is Islam. We were debating about God. I mean, look at this cult. What God? And get it uh, 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 burned uh, 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 uh. with evil intent. Even it carries a lot of diseases and the plague is one of them <clears throat> among others. And it's known to be destructive and with evil intent even it may take a piece of thread and get it uh, 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 burnt from or set it on fire from a candle or fire in the house and take that thread and burn the whole house with it. Mm. So mice are evil and we are ordered in Islam to kill them. A hamster is very similar to mice. It uh -huh. looks like mice. And as they say, it's about 86 to 90 species of mice that are found there. So a hamster is a rodent and it falls under the same category of mice. And hence, it is not permissible to keep them as pets because of the instruction of the Prophet ﷺ to kill them wherever we find them and to dispose of them. All right. Do you know even that the Muslim, they have a fatwa, which means a holy jihad order to kill Mickey Mouse? Do you know that? So when we discuss about Islam, what we are talking about exactly, we are talking about the most stupid garbage Fiction, fiction, mixion, hitchin, whatever titchin, it's hashish religion.
a fatwa against Mickey Mouse. Saudi Sheikh slammed Disney icon as a soldier of Satan. Say it is impure, corrupt, must be killed according to Islamic law. I mean, he got a point there. I mean, look at him. Is it really Mickey Mouse is dangerous? Who can deny that? Nobody. I will tell you who can deny it. The non-Muslims, the kuffar, because they are evil like Mickey Mouse. But people of truth, people who know the truth, they will never deny that Mickey Mouse is dangerous. And he is a soldier of Satan. They try to deny it, by the way. But in reality, all of us, we knew the truth. Mickey Mouse is a pure evil. He is extremely dangerous. And he is wanted all over Islamic world, especially in Saudi Arabia and Afghanistan. So this is the religion we are talking about it. This is the religion can be a challenge for anyone to be Christian. You must be a stupid fool and you are a donkey even to think about Islam for a second to be a religion. And actually, I heard that Mickey Mouse, he eat your cheese. I'm not sure, by the way, if it's true or not. And once I heard that Mickey Mouse was ordering dogs to attack Prophet Muhammad. Actually, here we go. We got him in picture. Isn't it Muhammad who said that the black dog is the devil? This is the religion even we are debating about. Islam is not peace even for, for, for little animals. It's, it's dangerous. The racist Muhammad described everything black is the devil. Are we lying Muslims? Are we? Liar! Liar, the Christian prince! Liar! Uh -huh. Are you sure? Uh -huh. Prophet Muhammad said the three things interrupt Muslim prayer. The women, the saddle, the, the donkey, and the black dog. And the black dog is the devil. It's a shame even to speak about this cult for a second. When I finish my broadcast, I want to see how many people make comment, just to show you how lazy people don't care. We make a video, you will see 10, 20 people, 20,000 people watch the video, and there's 200 comment. What happened from every thousand, there's one comment? Or 10 comments? Because people are like Muhammad. They don't care really how much dangerous this cult is. You see, if you try to ignore this cult, this cult is going to take over you. One day, you will be forced to believe in this garbage. I don't want you to side with me. Side with your freedom. Because if you don't, tomorrow will become a slave like the rest of the slaves for this religion of slavery. No comment. No sharing, no caring, don't even make a donation. We have a lot of supporters to the point nobody even want to make a comment. 
but if a bunch of two fools making a stupid statement you will see how many comments will be there well the Lord he said many things about foolishness tons of things about foolishness actually today I was reading many verses from the Bible about foolishness and I was amazed how truthful the word of the Lord how the fool love to associate with the fool how walking with the wise man will make you wiser and walking with the fool will make you fuller so people we have the Lord the Messiah the most wise the most amazing there's no one to listen to better than him and everyone else is a scam and obviously Muhammad is a scam if you ask a Muslim why the black dog is the devil it's obvious because he's black do you really believe that black color make you evil even though black stone used to be white like pearls and the sin of mankind made it black which means Muhammad teaching us to be racist believing that the one who is white is white because he is not a sinner and the one who is black is black because he's a sinner this is the garbage of Muhammad we don't want that in our life actually even Muhammad in the hadith he said that Allah created the white man from the right shoulder of Adam and he said and they were look they look like white ants and he said to them you go to heaven and I don't care. And then he hit the left shoulder of Adam and he created the black people like circle. And he said to them, you go to hell and I don't care. And I will let the admin post for you the link so you can read it. According to the faith in Muhammad, black people were created to go to hell. And not only in the Hadith, this is in the Quran too. In the Quran, the faith in Muhammad, he claimed that a day will come and Allah will make all the believers white. All these believers will make them black. And this is the translation, I believe, if the one Mr. Mimi Hijab, our sister Mimi, she like it. She said, Muhsin Hilali Khan. This is Quran now, this is not Hadith. Regarding the Hadith I mentioned to you, this is at Turmudi, Jami at Turmudi, this is the reference in front of your eyes, and this is the Muslim website, and this is the Hadith. We don't want such a garbage in our life. We have enough with racism. Black people are the same as we are, and even they are better. Depend on which society you grow. If you grow in a poor society, and you have no parents to take care of you, that will expose you to all kinds of bad things. This is why you see, if a black person, he grow in a family where they give him attention, and he is not exposed to the street and the garbage of the street he is successful he is smart he is intelligent and he do way better than many white people who did not reach even what he can accomplish life my friend is like an aquarium if a woman she grow in a house the father is drunk the mother is a cheater the daughter will be what? 
same time if a woman she grow in a house the parents are caring for their daughter decent hard-working people there's a great opportunity for this girl to grow like her parents even though there's a opportunity to, to not to be like them but maybe most likely she will follow the steps of her parents but we refuse to believe in such a garbage that there is a God who created Adam and from the shoulder of Adam he created the black and white and the white people who they are the offspring from the right shoulder and the word right shoulder mean the good ones you see the word right present the opposite of evil so the filthy Muhammad claiming that from the right shoulder white people created because they are the only good people and then he struck the left shoulder of Adam emitted from it black of spring as if they were circle then he said to those who they are emitted from the right shoulder which means the white one you go to paradise and I don't mind and then he said to the one who emitted from the left shoulder which means the black people you go to hell and I don't mind do we even need to discuss if Islam is a garbage or not if this is not garbage so what is garbage What the Muslims try to do today, they think they can fix the garbage of their God by using some recycling machines. Somebody deleted a Muslim comment, I don't know why, but let us show you what this Muslim he said. Admin, please don't delete comment of a Muslim just because he said something you don't agree with. This is a golden opportunity for us to expose their stupidity. Mr. Abu Dhabi, let me try to put his comment back. I'm not sure if I can do it. Yeah, I can do it, but I will put it your comment in the screen. Look what Mr. Abu Dhabi he said. How can you say the fact that Muhammad married six years old while Mary was 12 and Joseph was 90? Hypocrite. First of all, Abdul, according to your stupid Quran, Mary she was virgin. So the marriage you are talking about is not exist when she gave birth to Jesus. It is a mar marriage by paper. According to the Jewish tradition, she was engaged and that make it equal to marriage. But she is not with the man yet. So if Mary, she was 12 years old, as you claim, and this is a fiction, nobody have a proof of it. If you want to say to me a website of a church saying that, that's not in the Bible. We follow only the Bible. But let us go with your stupidity a line saying she was 12 years old 12 years old she was twice more older than Aisha and if she was 12 years old she gave birth as a miracle not by a man so what are you talking about stupid son of Muta isn't it your stupid Quran says Lam yamusuni bashar, no man touch me Who is the hypocrite? Are you now against your God just to make a point of no point? Isn't this your stupid Quran saying, how can I have a son when no man has touched me? So what your stupid Quran prove that she was for sure a woman because a child cannot conceive a child and she cannot even deliver a child, she would die. So number one must be a woman. Number two, no man touch me. So potato, 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 here we fry you, and here we send you to be fried again and again, because sooner or later you will die and you will go to hell for following the devil Muhammad. What kind of a man he defend a filthy man marrying six years old a child when she is when he is 54 years old? What Muhammad he saw in six years old a child? Do they have even the feature of female? Even your prophet, 
he asked for the hand of Ummu Habiba when she was an infant, not even years old. Lydia, you are being a stupid now. This is an example of a stupid comment some Christian they say. Shame on you, Lydia. Christians, learn always. Number one, before you open your mouth, don't make your, your mouth a hole of a toilet seat. Otherwise, you will be a shameful person like Muhammad. Number two, listen carefully to what the Muslims say and use their medicine against them. Otherwise, you are a fool. And now I challenge the Muslim to show me where he got the information from. We Christians, we follow the Bible. Secondly, the Mary, she never been touched. Number three, the pedophile is your prophet who goes after a child, she is six years old. When we ask Muslims, they say, oh, in the Middle East, they grow up so fast, and they go, that, oh, I'll go with you. Well, Mary, she was in the Middle East. And you, you say 12 years old. Is 12 years old the same as six? However, we don't believe in such a garbage. There's not a single Christian book says that Mary, she was 12 years old. That is your fiction and that's your lie. But because they are desperate. Harun, he says, the age of Aisha she was fabricated. That's wonderful. Guys, the age of Aisha was fabricated. Okay. So what the Muslim they say to us, we Muslims, we fabricate stories about our prophet. What the Muslims are saying to us, we are a bunch of liars, never listen to what we say. Whatever we say about our prophet is a scam. That's what the Bible says. From their fruits, you shall know them. You just admitted that we Muslims, we write books. We claim that the prophet said, said so and so, but in fact, he never said that. We say that the wife of the prophet, she said so and so, but in fact, she never said that. So what you are saying to us, we are Muslims who make books, fabricating stories about our prophet, and we approve them, and we publish them, and we teach them in schools, we teach them in mosques, we teach them in universities, and we publish them in the internet to tell you that we are liars. Thank you very much, you are genius. Actually, this is what I'm trying to say, that Muslims are a bunch of liars when it's come to Islam. Thank you. Never listen to Muslim telling you about Muhammad because the stories of Aisha is a fabrication. Who is the one who fabricated? Muslims. Who is the one who wrote Al-Bukhari? Muslims. Who is the one who wrote Sahih? Uh, and the funny, they call it authentic. The funny is, they call the book authentic, and then they say it's fabricated. I mean, the name of the book is authentic. This is the authentic Bukhari telling us the inauthentic story of Aisha. <laughs> Have you ever heard of a stupid idiot more than this? My friend, this is the proof that Islam is a stupid religion. When a person deny his books, it's a clear sign of shame. Those books, the Muslims, they were proud about it for centuries after centuries. Today, they are denying it. Why? Because they understand very well that Muhammad brought nothing but shame. So we have to deny what Muhammad did. Otherwise, people will laugh at us. What about the Quran? Are you going to deny the Quran? There's a chapter in the Quran called the chapter of divorce and speaking about divorcing children who they never have their menstruation because of their very young age. What, 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 what? Because of their very young age. What? 
Are you sure? Christian Prince, you are lying. There is no such a thing. Liar, liar. Liar, very much liar. Uh, okay. He's lying for you, okay? Uh, read carefully. This is a chapter. I, I, I can't even call it a chapter. This is a chapter. You must have you. Even the word chapter you stole from us. Even the word verses you stole from us. Read carefully. Brother. What about those, oh messenger? What about those? The one who waiting for their period. Those who do not have menstruation because they are too young. They are what? They are too young. Now he will say the Quran is lying too. What a bunch of idiots. A child molester teaching us ethic. A person who promised people if you believe in him, Allah will give you women with big boobs. The true God is the one who say, if you believe in me, I will make your penis endless. I mean, it's obvious. You do not need to be genius. I mean, look what we are discussing. How in the world they don't believe Allah is God? If he is not God, why he promised us endless penis? Isn't it obvious? No one can promise you such a promise except pimp God. Blessing on his pimping promises. So my friends, even though many of those Christians, they make comment and make me upset, I forgive you, but ask the Lord for forgiveness for stupid things you say in the chat. Don't be a fool like the Mohammedan who believe a God. He sent the black stone and this is his right hand and the black stone in the shape of a vagina. And the people used to go around the black stone totally naked to worship Allah. And women, they used to place their hand over their vagina when they have their period and then they put it inside the black stone to worship Allah hoping they can have a baby from the black stone the stone of fertility that is Islam my friend I want to say thank you very much for not supporting us I want to say thank you for not leaving even a comment because most of you are a bunch of potatoes. You are here just coming to chat and to laugh. And you really, you are careless. Thank you for being who you are. A fake person, like the fake Muhammad. True Christian is a warrior. True Christian is a believer. True Christian, he do what he say, and he say what he do. If you are cheap to the point even to leave a comment, so what kind of a Christian you are? I have then only one title for you. That is potato. Are you a potato? Don't forget to subscribe to my other channel, The Arabian Prophet, because soon we'll start going live in that channel. So if you don't see us here, we will be there. Just take a note and we will post the link for you down in the info thank you god bless you and we see you soon again and muslims stop using echo software because your stupid echo will not make your god echo god he's already too much echo silly as mr billy he left as a donkey he never came back as a horse and nobody can make your prophet a horse don't even try with echo or without echo
But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet That's tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. 